and may his soul rest in peace. Well, let's go back to our top story now, where we're live in Cote d'Ivoire. Nigeria is in an early lead with one goal scored by William Trost Ekong and what are across major cities here in Nigeria. Well, first, let's join our correspondent in Lagos, where the state government set up viewing centers in different parts of the state. Uh, our correspondent, Mian, is standing by for us here in the commercial center. Well, it's been a tournament full of drama, excitement, goals, incredible storylines. The final is proving to be a fantastic occasion. Can Nigeria win the tournament for the fourth time? Well, um, Sarah, it's um, huge, it's interesting, and um, you can feel the atmosphere here. It is electrifying. Just like you said, the Lagos State government sets up viewing centers across the state, but for Lad Ferry also, it is something unique. It is indeed um, a, a special one on a boat cruise for those who want to relax and indeed enjoy the grand finale. The last time Nigeria played in the final of the AFCON tournament was about 11 years ago. And here in um, Falomon, the five calories terminal, it's a boat cruise that can contain about 180 to 300 people or thereabouts. And that's where I am. Where indeed fans have also come to indeed enjoy the game. I have um, Shay Law, who is indeed enjoying one great moment here in the boat to indeed watch the game. Shay, good evening. Good evening. Nigerians, I'm so happy, I'm excited. The boys are taming the pressure from the elephants, but tonight I am seeing. The, uh, the eagles, the super eagles, taking the elephant high into the sky and dropping it on the mountain just to kill it. We are going for two goals to win this competition. We have one now. The second one is coming. My prediction. Shay says the second one is coming. But Shay, let's take a look at how football has united everyone here in Lagos. I can see you. I can see Messi Aibé. Um, I can see different Nigerians united really happy coming together to watch this football game. You know, one of the things that, that has served as, as a meeting point for all Nigerians is, is football. The unity that we all experience, the goal that we all, uh, uh, you know, come together to achieve is to see Nigeria win. And I want to, I want to, I want to believe that, uh, you know, by God's grace, we are able to allow this to translate to our daily lives as Nigerians, as a form of patriotism to the country. Let us be united. Unity is very, is very important. And I see that tonight, different people from different tribes enjoying the game, you know, rooting for Nigeria. And I can't just wait for the final whistle when we're lifting the cup. Well, a lot of Nigerians can't wait to see the Super Eagles lift the cup aloft. And then that's... Um, uh, the way it's been here at the five carries terminal, where on water fans are gathered to indeed watch the finale in a boat cruise. And Sarah, I must say that the Ivorians have just equalized. It is 1 1 between Nigeria and the elephants of Cote d'Ivoire. Say 1 1. There is nothing to be afraid of. You can't kill an elephant without it struggling to breathe. They are just struggling to breathe. The, the, the second one is coming. We are winning. The Don't worry. One is coming. You are confident. Don't worry. We are confident. It's coming. There were, there were to worry about about it we are bringing, look at my cap. He said champion. That is what we are tonight. Indeed. Of course, we're champions. We, and the, the predictions, some persons have given predictions of a 2-1 uh, game. Uh, we understand that the Cote d'Ivoire have equalized with the one goal and now the game stands at 1-1. Hopefully Nigeria and the Super Eagles will be able to put in another goal 